Hello, this is How To Bob, and I have a video here to show you how I took the tire of my motorcycle off the rim. Here we have the new tire. The first step I'm going to do is take the valve stem out of the tire and let all the air out. Just use the valve stem tool here and stick it in there. You'll feel it click in and loosen it and wait for the air to come all the way out. This will make the tire more easy to work with, plus you need the air out to get the tire off the rim. Now that we have all the air out of the tire, the first thing we're going to do is break the bead. The bead is the area around the rim that holds the tire in place and makes it have a good seal. So to do this, I'm going to use a couple of C-clamps. And what I'm going to do is clamp them real close to the edge of the rim and just keep tightening the C-clamps down until it pushes the tire up out of the bead of the rim. Once I get the first clamp kind of tight, I can go ahead and put the second clamp on there about six inches away and I can start cranking that C-clamp down. I want to put it real close to the edge of the rim but not on the rim itself. Now I'm going to use a little Windex here. This is just to act as a lubricant. Helps the bead slide off and then I can push my C-clamps down and you can see that the bead has popped off and I think that the Windex has helped that. I use Windex because it dries out real quick once you're done so I'll be continually spraying Windex throughout this whole video. Now I'm going to use a set of rim protectors as I pry the tire off of the rim. What these do is just latch on the rim and there's a rope that goes around the hub of the wheel and that holds it in place. Now here are the tire irons or tire tools that I'm going to be using in conjunction with the rim protectors. And to use these, you just took the, take the hooked end and hook it around the tire and pry it up uh, on the rim using the rim protector. And that's why I'm using the rim protector so I don't scratch up my rim. You want to put the two rim protectors about 10 to 12 inches apart so you can get a good bite on the tire. And then once you get that part of the tire off, you want to move the rim protectors around so that wherever you're prying on the rim that it is protected by the rim protectors. I'm just going to go ahead and reposition my rim protectors and put the ropes around the hub here. Protect that rim. And then I'm going to use some Windex, just standard household Windex. I'm going to spray it around the edge of the tire and on the rim. Um, the bonus to this is that it actually cleans the rim so I'll have a nice clean rim once I get done and then that also will help the tire slide off the rim and you can see that it comes right off with the uh, Windex and once you get it so far you can almost pull the tire off by hand now that I've got the one side completely off I'm going to start on the other side and I've got to uh, break the bead on this side as well so back to the C-clamps we go, and what I do is just clamp the one C-clamp on there, and I'll crank that down, and then I'll add another C-clamp on, and I'll crank that down just to break the bead on the other side of the tire. You could break both beads at the same time, or you could take off one side. There's no particular pattern of what you have to do, but you do have to break both beads. So here I have both beads broken. i take my C-clamps off now and I can start taking the other side of the tire off now. I'm going to go ahead and put my rim protectors on there and on this side of the tire you have to kind of be careful because you have the disc for the brake so you can't push on it real hard. This side once I get it started I can almost just pull it right off so it comes off real easy. Now here's the new tire and as you can see there is a direction on the tire so we want to make sure that we got the direction going in the correct way so I can go ahead and put my rim protectors back in there and reverse the process I just have to pry the tire back onto the rim pull my rim protectors out because I'll need those on the next side of the rim and for this other side I'm going to use a block of wood and set the rim on the block of wood what that does is push the tire down. You can see where the tire sits down on the rim. 
I'm going to go ahead and lube this side up and put my rim protectors in place. Make sure that I got them where I need them here. And then I can begin putting the other side of the tire on and slowly work my way around. And I'm just going to keep moving my rim protectors around and using Windex as a lubricant and slowly work my way around to the very last bit of the tire. Now you can step on the side of the tire that may help push the tire onto the rim. Okay, now that we have the tire on the rim, we're going to look at the new tire. You'll notice that the new tire has a red dot. That red dot needs to be in the location where the valve stem is. It has to do with the harmonic balance of the tire. So the best way to balance it or to get it close as you can to balance is to have the red dot right where the valve stem is. So what I'd do is twist a little bit here and I've got it lined up. So now my next step is to seat the bead. And to do that, I'm just going to pump the tire up with a lot of air real quick. You want the, a fast burst of air and you'll hear it pop once it goes into place. You can hear it just pop, sometimes a little hammering, and you can hear it pop into place. Now, once I've got my bead set, before I put my valve stem in, I'm going to put some ceramic dust. What this does is help keep the tire balanced and I put it in a little squeeze bottle that has a real small tip and I'll just squeeze it into the tire and as the tire rotates these this the ceramic dust goes around the tire and helps balance the tire so I won't have to take it into the shop to get it balanced once I get my ceramic dust in there I can go ahead and put the valve stem back in use my valve stem tool and tighten up the valve stem and last but not least, inflate the tire. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.